Yes, Season 5 is finally here, bringing an entirely new conquest map that is 20% bigger in map size, every mob has been visually changed, and they're bringing back the jungle fog. Now besides all that, I hope you like pie charts, cause we're gonna look at some numbers. Big brain gamers only. Jungle camps now spawn much faster, but to make up for that, they give less XP and gold, but will give more as the match goes on. There's also a new jungle boss that will be replacing the portal demon, called the Pyromancer. Instead of giving you a portal that takes you from the fountain to the fire giant, the Pyromancer will give you swift wing. Okay, I guess. Now you're probably thinking, why don't I just buy Swiftwing? Well, guess what, idiot? It's gone. Actually, all starter items are gone. They have been replaced with Blessings. Blessings kind of serve the same role, but you can only buy one in the entire match. There's Hunter's Blessing, which increases your auto attack damage. There's Mage's Blessing, which increases your ability damage. Assassin's Blessing, which is basically Bomba's Mask. Guardian's Blessing, which is basically Watcher's Gift. And Warrior's Blessing, which is basically useless. We also get a new item called Tell of energy. This item grants you 50 magical protections, 300 HP, and a passive that gives you and your allies within 55 units, 1% movement speed and attack speed, and 5 MP5 for every kill or assist on enemies, which then can stack up to 10 times. It's pretty good. Next on the list is Soul Gem. This gives 65 power, 150 HP, 12% lifesteal, and 10% cooldown reduction. And a stacking passive. D didn't see that coming. Every time you hit an enemy with an auto attack, you gain one stack. Stacking up to five times. At full stacks, your next ability will deal an additional 25% of your magical power and heal your allies within 30 units of you 25% of your magical power. And finally, we have Typhon's Fang. Typhon's Fang. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, get it? Because... So fuck. This item gives you 100 magical power, 200 mana, 15 magical lifesteal, and, hear me out, your lifesteal is increased by 50%. What? But wait, there's more. Your magical power is also increased by 100% of the magical lifesteal you have. Uh, good luck out there, you'll need it. Current items in the game are also getting major changes. Rod of Tahuti's new passive now gives you 25% additional magical power against targets below 50% health. Obsidian Shard and Titan's Bane no longer affect towers. Blackthorn Hammer has a new passive, while over 50% mana, you're not gonna buy this! And Ikavol now also reduces magical power. Next up we have Silver Branch Bow, which will now steal up to 15% attack speed for every basic attack you hit on your opponent for 3 seconds. Then we have Quinn Sayers, which will deal 3% of your target's maximum HP with basic attacks. But if the target has 2000 HP or more, that passive will cap at 5% max HP on 2750 health targets. You confused yet? Also, boots now cost more. So you tell me that I have to pay an additional 50 gold to get my favorite pair of Urx? <laughs> Disgusting. Hello? Yeah, hi. Is there a hole in your shoe? No. But then how did you get your foot in it? And finally, we have Gauntlet of Thieves. This item now costs 2,400 gold, gives you 200 HP, and it's new passive that will give you one physical and magical protection for each assist on the lane or jungle minion, stacking up to 50. At 50 stacks, the item will evolve, and will provide an aura of 10 magical and physical protections to you and your allies within 70 units. Wow, that sure is a handful to take in. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, these puns are getting off hand. That wasn't even in the script. For god changes this patch, we first have Nike, who is now knockback immune while channeling her one. But the damage has been decreased by 20 at max rank. What are you... You expecting another shoe pun? Okay, uh, I guess why not? <laughs> Ratatoska is getting a small nerf this patch. Increasing the cooldown on his 1 with 2 seconds, and increasing the mana cost on his 3 for each level at a max of 80. Ravana's ult is getting nerfed, and he's also getting reduced HP. And speaking of... Uh... Raijin getting nerfed... Raijin got nerfed! And thank god for that! Maybe I won't see him in every f***ing game I play- And that sums up the Smite Season 5 update. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, and also check out both me and Punk Duck's channels, links in the description, for a bunch of more quality content. Okay, okay, one more joke. Hey, Punk Duck, Paragon's closing down. Wait, that's... That's not how it goes. Holy shit!